what you see here is a regular WooCommerce archive site. And this one here is a single product page. We both have add to cart button, but if we want to add the buy now button, there is no default option for that. Therefore, today I'm going to show you how to add this kind of add buy now button on a single product page, on an archive page. And if you click on it, it takes you to the checkout page there directly. There is your cart and there is your checkout. This tutorial is going to be a quite short one. Therefore, if you're interested, then buckle up and I'm going to show you how to accomplish that. First thing you need to do is go to the dashboard, plugins and add new. Just search for direct checkout. Now install this plugin here and activate it. After activating the plugin, you'll see a new menu under the WooCommerce. It's a direct checkout. And here are some settings for you to configure. If this option is activated, then the user will be redirected to the checkout page without the need to go to the cart page. And if you enable the single page checkout, then the checkout page will also show the cart table. For example, this one here. Now if I deactivate this one and save and refresh, then there will be no cart table, but you are unable to use the cart page since we disabled it. For example, if you click here and click on the view cart page, you will be redirected to the checkouts. So if you want the cart page to be visible, then just deactivate it, save it, refresh, and now the cart page is there. I like to disable it and also I like to enable the single page checkout. If you want to redirect your customers after pressing the add to cart button then enable this option here. If you want to redirect them to some kind of custom URL activate this option here and select the page you want them to be redirected. If someone presses the add to cart button, there is a continue shopping button visible. If you want to disable this one, just activate the option here and save it. If you hover on some options and there is a buy pro version, then that means you cannot use that in the free version. Now let's take a look at the add to cart options. If you want to change the add to cart button text, just activate it and configure it as you want. Usually I don't use it, therefore I'm not going to activate it. Now if you want to add the buy now button, then activate this option here. You cannot rename the button on the free version, but you can change the button size here. For example, 150 pixels. If you want to show the buy button on archive pages, activate this one here. All other options you cannot change, but you can change the background color of this button here and the text color. Now if you save it and go to the single product page, you'll see the button is there, but looks rather weird because I changed the size to 150 pixels. I don't want it to be the near the add to cart button, therefore I'm going to delete the size. And if I refresh it, the button will be below. Next one, the plugin gives you the option to enable the quick view button also. What is the quick view button? Well, it's this one here. If you click on it, you'll see the product information in the modal pop-up. And if you want to add something to cart, just press on it and works like a charm. And the last one, you can also remove order comments. You can remove the coupon field. All other options here are only for the premium version. Now save it and you're good to go. So let's test it out. I'm going to go to the shop page, buy now. And I'm on the checkout page. Let's go take a look at the single product. Let's add three, buy now. And there we are again. As you see, it's a really easy and elegant solution, which you can enable on your site within a couple of minutes. Now, if you find this tutorial helpful, then press thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and you will be the first to be notified about new tutorials.
Meanwhile, take care.